my origins have shaped who I am. Like I talked about, you know, just being um, from African descent, I think is extremely important. Like I said, you know, um, the fact that like I'm of Native American descent and African descent and I can't talk about <laughs> what tribes I'm from or where in Africa I'm from, I think is extremely important to me as to why I, I feel so strongly about being connected to those roots and I try so much to incorporate um, just education about what it means to be a, an African, a person of African descent, you know, here in America and a lot of what I do in my everyday practices is because I didn't really get that um, experience of culture growing up and the lack thereof, um, I think is really evident for me. Um, so I feel really strongly and passionate about like making those connections as I start to educate myself and to um, kind of explore a little bit more about my own personal origins and my family. Um, so yeah, so I, I think that basically shapes the way that I dress, the way that I um, approach and interact with different people, um, uh, the way that I kind of view the world, um, my value system. Um, you know, most of the education that I've gotten about traditional Af African experiences have always been about um, the collective group of individuals and appreciating the concept of we and not just I, which I think is very westernized and individualized thinking. Um, and I think that speaks to like why I work in the field that I'm in. Um, and uh, yeah, just who I am in general of like always being a helping hand for different people. So I don't know. Um, as far as like my roots of being down south, uh, I don't. I think that plays out at more so in the, a lot of the food that I eat, and I like um, more than it does in other aspects of, of who I am. Um, like my grandmother uh, definitely uh, keeps her Louisiana roots, and a lot of the food that she cooked and that she taught me to cook growing up, like eating crawfish and. Um, you know, baking uh, beignets and, you know, making jambalaya and all those different things. I think those were the first exposures I had to um, Southern culture um, versus, you know, my experiences of growing up here in California. So, I mean, I, yeah, so I, I'd, I'd like to say that that <laughs> is a huge part of me, especially since I love food. And I think that's one way for us to stay connected um, to those different types of traditions. Um, and also, too, I would say in other ways, too, like, you know, going to church, like my grandma's really, really strict about going to church and about like traditional family values, although she's a little crazy. Um, I think at the core of who she is, she definitely appreciates that type of upbringing where she was very, very strict. You know what I mean? Like we had to ask permission. You know, we were only kids, I think, at our age group where we had to say yes, ma'am or yes. Or if my grandma would call our name, we would say yes. You can't say what? You know what I mean? Which is very, very, I think, Southern tradition which is not, um, isn't something I really see um, or that a lot of other kids were exposed to growing up, which I think she brought with her from Louisiana as well too. Um, and then the importance of family, like I said, I think is not only just African tradition, but then also um, the Southern way as well too. Like you always make sure that you put your family first. Um, and she's always been a person who demonstrated that and instilled those values in myself as well too. Um, so yeah. Oh, and then also the the aspect of being a lady. I used to hate it growing up because I had brothers. And I was the only girl, so I really wanted to be a tomboy. But like having a purse and wearing lipstick, she's always bothering me by why you don't have a lip gloss on, which is a very Southern Belle type tradition um, that really kind of instilled the essence of feminism in me, and um, which I think is important and a huge part of who I am as a woman. Um, that yeah, she had to kind of really instilled in me growing up, but I definitely appreciated it. Yeah. Earlier you talked about education. How do you feel uh, regarding education? Like, uh, how important is it to you? Education is extremely important to me. And I mean, I look at education from a, a different lens, not the traditional aspect of just going to school and, um, you know, sitting, sitting down and, you know, doing the assignments that teachers assign to you. But um, I, although I think that's important, you know what I mean, that's something that everybody should embark on, but I think education in general, um, just the aspect of learning and um, learning about life, I think is a continuous process that everybody needs to engage in, you know what I mean? I think sometimes we get so concept on the institution of school that we don't realize like life is supposed to be an educational experience, you know what I mean? Interacting with people, you know, um, I, I find 
most of the knowledge that I gain isn't necessarily in the classroom, but a lot through my life experiences and the different people that I'm able to interact with along, you know, my journey. Um, and I think um, a lot of times because we box in this concept of education, it's always kind of looked at in more of a negative aspect versus it being something that's fun um, and also essential to life. You know, I think education is also a tool um, for freedom in essence. You know, the more you know, the more you are capable of um, as far as being in charge of your own thoughts, your own values, and your own beliefs. You know, because if you don't, aren't educated on who you are, where you come from, um, and it's kind of like it's easier for somebody to just kind of tell you anything or to tell you who you are, where you come from. So, um, for me, especially as being an African American person, I think education is a is a way to kind of yeah to kind of be free. In a sense.